Okay guys, we're sitting here doing our weekly water change on our koi. These are Tracy's koi that are waiting to go into the new pond. Um, they are in a thousand gallon tub and it is just crazy how much, there's 130 of them or so like that, how much I have to change the water. I have to check the nitrates every other day and then when it gets up to 40 parts per million I have to do water changes. So we're doing like a 75% water change once a week. But to do that, what we did was we set up this pool here. And we can fill it with water the day before and let it get the exact same temperature and dechlor it. And then we can drain that out almost all the way and fill it up with nice dechlorinated same temperature water. And they just they seem to just spread out in it. They love it. So, but this is what I have to keep doing every single week until we get this pond built because there are so many in here. Now, the lower it goes, you're going to be able to see more and more. Right now, it's kind of hard to see because of the sunlight and all of that, but she's got a bunch she's been collecting in here. Okay, all I got to do is plug this extension cord in and we are pumping new water out. Go back out here. So hard to see in this brightness. I can't even see the camera. Looks like a dark screen to me. I just hope it's recording. Okay. Now at the end of this hose right here, you can see it's pumping. And that is water coming straight over from here. And yeah, she's got some big boys in there. And Without a shade over this, I cannot get this algae to stop growing. It's crazy. We cleaned it off all last week, and look at what's grown back. More over there by the splashing. And then this tub here, we got to do a water change on it next. And uh, this is for when we get koi in or goldfish that we can give out or koi that we can give out we put in here and we uh, quarantine them over here before they touch that pond and you know we don't want to give that pond a whole bunch I mean that's a thousand gallons when it's full so it's a lot more in medicine to treat that and now in here you're going to see the rest of Tracy's koi that's got to go in the pond and the problem, see these tanks are right here in front of sunlight. Sorry about freaking the camera out. But once a week, I have to clean the face of this tank off. Look at how you can see the, the algae on the face. Like look through their tails and it's all this greenness. I have to clean that off every single week with a scrubber. And it's hard to get over in front here with all these plants and stuff. So I try and do it from behind, but then you can't see the face that you're working on. But... You know, they're still pretty in there. I just got to clean it up. And all them koi will be going together in the back pond. Let me grab some food here. Alright, where you at, Brutus? Give everybody a treat. Here you go, buddy. Hi. You ready? They love their pellets. All right, let's walk around out here. I can't wait till I get the storage in the barn built where I can put all these tools out there and not have to worry about them here. Oh, Sarah Eva and her mother came over yesterday and they gave us some more of these, um, what are these called? Uh, not daylilies. Uh, oh, geez, I can't remember the name. these things as soon as someone says the name I'm gonna be like that's it <laughs> but they gave us uh, two two more of those so we got those two on the stairs right there just getting some water soaked up into them before we submerge them and then they gave us a uh, a perennial for out front oh look at this big leaf it's so so nice and new I'm waiting for this whole plant to come this way because the lights over this way above it and we got some spider plant babies started. We're going to put them in the waterfalls.
Come out here. Here's what we got so far. A few different ideas for this this pond. There goes a squirrel up a tree. Now this is where the stairs are going to be coming down. But uh, one of Josh's ideas was touching the deck right here. You know, two and a half foot out of the ground. But that's a slope. So that side will be like three and a half foot out of the ground. And we can only go four feet deep. So if we have the koi pond touching this, we won't need a permit. We can just build it 40 foot by 12 foot. And then I can put... Um, a, a walkway across it and then stairs down on that side then we can lay pavers out all across there and have windows on that side of the koi pond and have a fire pit with chairs around it on the pavers you know two chairs laying out for the girls to lay out in the sun with and you know the wetlands filter would be underneath the deck going across and so the waterfall would be coming out here and that would all be fish of you know 30 34 foot because six foot's going to have to be wetlands filtration so that's one idea now another idea is we're going to need to get a permit and we drop this down two foot with two steps and we have a deck all the way across here almost touching the ground two foot off on that side touching the ground on this side a 10 foot wide maybe 12 foot wide deck 40 foot so that you can walk off of this deck onto that deck then we can have four chairs around a little fire pit and then two lawn chairs for uh laying in the sun and then the the pond on this side would be two foot out of the ground over here touching this deck and then on that side it would be about two and a half foot out of the ground because the slope is less out there so we wouldn't need to heat the pond because it would be two and a half foot in the ground uh you know on, on at least one side uh and then uh, we'd, it would be too short for windows. We wouldn't want windows there then. Um, but it would be a 40 foot by 12 foot pond then with a little deck in between. We just have to get a permit for that. So that's another idea. Um, another idea is just steps down to the grass. Have the wetlands filter pump water up to here and have this you know right next to the steps where they come out have a waterfall and have the water coming down the waterfall a stream all the way through here over to the pond down in the ground and then it would just be level with the ground all the way around maybe up a foot on one side because of the slope and then this side would be touching the ground but we would bring up the ground on that side to make it touch the ground on all all sides so we'd have the no deck no fire pit none of that just a big wide 40 by 12 koi pond in the ground with a waterfall up here by us and then streaming to it <clears throat> um that's that's the the three main ones right now that we're working on i got to get out here and mow this lawn it's been raining so much and yesterday it rained and today it's going to be 80 some degrees and no rain and i don't have my blades in yet i ordered them from amazon because when i tried mowing last week i hit a rock and it bent both blades so um i got a 50 inch deck and we ordered them they're supposed to be here today or tomorrow and then i can finally mow the backyard for the first time this summer and go across the bridge and mow over there because there's a pond over there that's got bass and crappie and bluegill and all that um but all that's outgrown and once it grows too big it's gonna be hard getting a lawn mower up over there <laughs> So, these are our ideas we're sticking with so far. Number the three top ones. Let me know what you guys think. Well, there they are. There's her babies. Filled it a little too far. It's draining back down now. But yeah, you can... You can see the size there. They're all over. Loves, she absolutely loves these two orange ones right there. Yeah, so uh, I'll drain this back down about four inches and we'll be good to go. We've got a net all the way around because we came out this door. Oh. I came out this door and there was a blue heron sitting right on the edge right here. And he opened his wingspans and took off flying that way. Uh, that thing was like six foot wide. It was huge. There was no way that uh, I I know I did not believe they were that big. 
I didn't think there's no way they'd be a bird that big, but he is. Blue herons are big. Okay, there we go. Now you can see them all. They're all out in the sun. Water's nice and clear. So yeah, once a week we got to change this water because there's so many of them in there. And now it's hot and they want to eat and I have to feed them daily. So <clears throat> definitely once a week we have to change water. It's crazy. But Tracy loves them. We're going to take care of them. When she gets out of the hospital, she's going to have her nice pond built full of her favorite koi. So it's all worth it in the end. I'll do the extra work. Well, 8 o'clock at night, as you can see, sun's going down. We've got this guy out here still mowing the grass. He just never stops working. But I guess he's kind of smart because it's nice and cool out right now. Not blazing hot. So I guess it's a good time to get the lawn done. Alright guys, it's the next morning. Let's go out there and see if they're hungry and see how they're looking. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Little piggies. Look at you guys go. Hungry, hungry little hippos, huh? <laughs> Chase, you just love this. Love seeing her babies eating. Well, let's go and feed the ones inside and see how they eat. They're always acting like they're starving. Okay, there's these guys here. I cleaned the front glass off. Looks a lot better, don't it? These guys over here. I just turned the lights on, so yeah, they know they're getting fed. Let me walk around here. All right, we're walking around. I love that universal rocks on the side there. So nice. Okay. This is the back side. You never get to see this side. Let me move it out some a little bit. There we go. Okay, but if I tap here, watch these guys. Open this up a little bit. See, they're all up here waiting. There we go. There's some. They might even get wet. dark back here but it's early morning I think it's 6 30 right now Ouch. let's see if I can get back in here right here's where I want to be ah. okay first let me tap I think no food's coming I'm 
I'm gonna step back a little bit. Looking for more. It just got my whole arm wet. And that's what it's like to feed the koi every morning. Oh, back off of here. Um, go back through the jungle here. Yeah, you see the carpet there, and that thing things leaking right there see the black spot on the roof we had a roofer out here they want 30 grand to do this roof me and Josh gonna have to get up there and do it ourselves because we did it when we moved in here it was uh, it was a heck of a job we worked like three days straight on it we sealed the whole rubber roof oh excuse me Back around the front over here. And there they are. Sorry about that light right there. I need to get some sort of light cover for that. Now, you know, some people have said that, you know, that's too small of a tank. That's a, a 190 gallon tank. And it's just fine for them waiting. Uh, as soon as we get this pond built, they're going in there. I had to spread them out. Otherwise, they're, they have to go in with that 1,000-gallon tub outside. Or I have to set up another pool for them somewhere so they'll be completely in the way. But I've got water running through them. So it ain't like uh, the water's going to go bad. They're on a constant, steady run-through. So this water's running up through them and then running back to here, through the river, of course. And so the filtration is good enough for them. It keeps the water clean. Like I said, though, once a week I got to clean the algae off. You can see I, I, I cleaned this one, didn't clean that one yet. I have to get over in the middle there. It's rougher. I was hoping that Josh would get over there and do that. But good morning, guys. I might as well give these guys a little treat, too, while we're here. They get fed at night, but every morning I come out, I try and give everybody a treat. Like Brutus here, he loves his pellets. <laughs> Everyone else hears him eat and they come over to try and get some pellets. Even the guards eat pellets, you see that? Ooh, that was not nice. And the new albino catfish we took out of the 2200. Because he was starting to uh, go after the, the smaller fish in there. He's doing good over here. And then we even, the new arowana that we had just got, the 30 inch arowana right there. He uh, He's doing good in here. We've watched and watched and watched. He hasn't jumped. A lot of times the jumping is from being in smaller tanks. So you got an arowana 150, they want to jump. You got to keep, you know, weights on your lids. But he hasn't jumped being in this big tank. Oh, we're getting lucky there. Well, anyways, hope you guys like today's video. This is what we're doing to get ready for Tracy's Pond. Uh, we're going up in the next couple days to Greg Woodstock's to pick up all the stuff he's donating for the pond. So you guys can get a chance to uh, go check him out on his channel. He's got, I think, 150,000 followers. And he's doing pretty good. So uh, check him out and, you know... Show them some love for helping us out here at the OFR. And we're going up there, so I'll have another video of the Playland up there and his new Turtle Topia. We're going to take a video of that. And we're also going over to Ed Baylou's house. They just got done built, building a brand new pond for him with a like sunken in uh, Hobbit house around the side of the pond, down in the ground. And a uh, uh, huge, beautiful pond. So Ed's all proud of it. We're going to go video that. And then, uh, you know, we'll be heading back and we can get started on the backyard pond. So it won't, excuse me, it won't be long now. And all these koi will have a big old home. 
Uh, remember, we have plenty of uh, extra biological bacterial, you know, filtration here waiting to go onto that pond as soon as it's built so we can put fish right in and it'll go through a mini cycle, which is way less harmful than fish. Nobody will die, nothing like that. So stick with us and uh, keep watching. And of course, if you guys like, hit that subscribe button and share these videos. It really helps us out. So till till day after tomorrow, stay fishy, my friends.